Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to discuss another set of Databricks interview question. And these questions are also like very commonly asked questions. So let's move on to the video and exactly see what questions do I have for you. So this is a very common question. It's not just just the Databricks, even you're interviewing for Spark in general, then this is also one of the question for you. What are the different join strategies Spark has? So this question, uh, you know, it, it, it is a very, uh, you know, broad question. And once you explain this, right, once you explain to the interviewer that, okay, these are the join strategies I know then interviewer might go and go in detail and ask you even more questions about it right so uh, for this particular question i have created a separate video in the joint strategy itself right for the joint strategies in spark itself i have created a detailed video itself i will leave the link in the description so that you can go ahead and watch out the details as well so the answer to it is essentially broadcast has joined right shuffle has joined shuffle sort merge join cartesian join and broadcast nested loop join so these are the common uh, you know uh, you know uh, techniques right common join strategies which are actually used by spark in general and i have described them in detail like you know this particular notebook i have described in detail in one of my video i do recommend watching that because it will give you a hands-on as well as a detailed session on all of these partitions right on all of these uh, sorry not partitions and all of these uh, join strategies that spark has right so these are the join strategies that spark has and then the another question that can you know immediately come up after this is what is a default join strategy in spark right interviewer might ask you to explain each of these join strategies itself or they might even ask you okay, okay just tell me what is the default join strategy in spark as i give you i give you one data frame this one data frame this and you you know i ask you to join what kind of strategy will spark follow for it now in that case again this is also something that i have described in that video but still i will you know kind of cover in this because the question itself says that so in case of equi join whenever we are working in the equi joins all in detail video is already there i'll leave the link in description whenever you have equi join in that case broadcast has join is the default join if it is supported otherwise we look out for the sort merge join if join keys are sortable and the uh, you know um, a uh, specific property for you know enabling sort merge join is true then in that case sort merge join is taken after that shuffle hash join comes into picture in case you know broadcast hash join cannot uh, be used uh, sort merge property is not set right in that case shuffle hash join comes into picture and the last one that comes is Cartesian product, right? So in case of equi join, in case of not equi join, what happens is broadcast nested loop join comes into picture. It is a default join, but in the case, you know, the broadcast property has, uh, you know, uh, is not set correctly. Then in that case, Cartesian product, right? This comes into picture. So coming on to the equi join, not equi join, I have already discussed, right? So if I go down over here in this, uh, I can actually show you. So, for example, this is a not equi join, right? So, whenever you have not equi join, you know, two types of merge strategies comes, two type of join strategy comes, which is broadcast nested loop join and Cartesian product, right? Only these two join strategies are used for non equi joins. For equi joins, broadcast hash join sort merge join and shuffle hash join are common but cartesian product can also be used for the equi join right so this is how your join strategies work right now if you have any questions regarding this do let me know in the comment section i am not going in detail especially on all of these because i've already created a video i'll just leave the link in description but this is a very important topic right as of now i have just given you you know in this particular video as per the question what are the different joint strategies spark has one two three four and five i have given you what is the default joint strategy in spark i have given you the answer but 
you have to go and understand this in detail in just one video so thank you so much for being till here and do let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts thank you so much